Our childhood dream has come true. We're going to a nuclear test site. Not just on some dusty bus, but on Soviet engines. We have to travel a whole thousand kilometers from Almaty to Semipolotinsk. It won't be easy guys, but we will do it. Let's go! Different abandoned cities, giant nuclear explosion craters, scary bunkers, a metro station, and crazy radiation await us. Holy moly! Oh no, there were 900 here. Now this is really dangerous. Will our bicycle motors withstand such mockery? Will the bikes fall apart? Now you'll see it. Can't start the engine? The police stopped nearby. Sorry, we really didn't know about this. It's not just like that. After the event here, you know what happened. Therefore, you cannot ride a bicycle, only walk. Sorry, we won't do that. So guys, I'll start the engine. I'm on a bike. I won't slow down. This factor has its benefits. Traffic jams are not a problem for us. We can drive on sidewalks and sometimes in oncoming traffic. And the traffic police will do nothing to us because it's just a bicycle, albeit with a motor. What do you think about it? Cool stuff. Okay. Yes. Very cool. Hey guys, how are you? Bro, handsome guys, grow big and healthy. Genius. And not small ones. This is really cool. So, guys, the device is certainly interesting. The controls seem to be easy, but with their own quirks, so you just need to get used to it. This attracts an incredible amount of attention, but in general, as you can see, great traction. The gas works properly, until it falls apart. Greetings, brother. Are you alright? Bye. Wow guys, I have never seen so many people in my life. Maybe at the market, but it's not a market, but an ordinary street. Probably everyone is starting from prayer, because now they are reading the Quran, as I understand it. And the people go to atone for their sins. Dima, let's go around. It will probably be faster on the road. It turns out that there is a cleansing going on now. Let's go to. So guys, for some reason, Anton's engine turns off, and we decided not to take out the flute, but to check the life hack. We're going to drill a hole here now. And it should just go like a rocket. Let's make a lot of holes at once. Probably here to do more later. Yes, do that. The whole world is switching to electric. There are electric scooters everywhere, but we are reviving history. This is an analog of the Soviet engine. Fast and Furious from Kriasen. I'm starting. Wow. The result is noticeable immediately. The effect is colossal. A gun. You'll drill three holes, okay. But what a beautiful sound. Yes, like a motorcycle. I want one too. Enjoy it. On the first day we plan to travel 300 kilometers to the city of Zarkand. By the way, I wrote down all the key points of our route in this diagram. 
which you see on the right in the video. But as soon as we left the city, Dima's moped chain broke. Here we have a piece of spare chain, as you can see. Now, using a pull cord, I will pull out two links and insert it into this chain. But we can't install it that easily. We opened the small star to turn the crankshaft. This is such a cool bike moped, do you agree? As soon as we assembled it, we immediately repaired it. And there is such a beautiful view here, wow! Now we still have to remove the protection, right? Just put it aside. Great. Come on. Why do you think it broke? The castle is weak. For some reason the lock opened. So, Anton, put it on carefully on that side, I guess. Now screw it up. Straight to the end. Yes, until the very end. To leave a small gap. Yes, the same as on others. Done. Leave it like that. Do the same. That's life. Live and learn. Now let's check if it works. All that remains is to tighten the chain, align the wheel and we can go. Look how Anton's brake lever twisted. Why do you think this happened? This is what it should look like. Wait. What are you doing? This is because Anton brakes very sharply. So, guys, let's start the engines. To do this, depress the clutch and accelerate a little and smoothly release the clutch. Like this. For some reason not. Great. I did it. I'm going so fast. Unrealistically fast. So, guys, as you can see, Dima is back in action. We repaired his chain. Unfortunately, my wheel skids a little to the side. There's a little play, but there's nothing you can do about it. I'll keep going until something happens. Anton, is everything okay? We're going to the nuclear test site. Now let's evaluate the speedometer. We'll see what it can do. By the way, the weight in front gives instability. Did you notice this? It started. I pressed the gas just a little and it's already 25. 28. 40. Still 40. Now it's going to explode. 43. This is terrific, guys. 45. The vibration is very strong. I'm on the rise. Unreal vibration. The guys are far behind. At 45, I can easily drive up the hill. Wow. So easy. You're lying. These motors don't accelerate much. But it vibrates a lot. You don't have an aid, but you have a hatch that makes it sway. It's okay, we can get there. Damn, this will continue all the way. Your aid is less than mine. Guys, this is very cool. I press the gas and it goes. 27 is very easy for this, look. The average speed of such a bike is 35 miles per hour. Even though it's fully loaded. I noticed that Dima was lagging behind, and indeed, something happened again. I have the same problem with my brakes that happened to you. With a brake? Yes. Here it is. Do you see? Is your ox unscrewed? Yes. This is problem. For some reason there are problems with these brakes. What's happened? The brakes have failed. Brakes? Yes, apparently this is a sore spot on this bike. Did this thing come loose? Yes. It's not that easy. You have to loosen the nuts. I can't just keep driving. But I've just started. We unscrew the nut and open it on the other side. Is this the brake lever? Or what is it? These are inhibitory hemorrhoids. I don't know what it's called, guys. But now we'll put it on. Наверняка многие переживают, когда речь заходит о кредите. 
Но на самом деле это очень полезный финансовый инструмент. К примеру, с помощью кредитной карты Тиньков Платинум вы сможете грамотно пользоваться средствами, держа ваши деньги на накопительном счете или на дебетовой карте с процентом на остаток. Вы весь месяц будете тратиться, пользуясь деньгами с кредитки. Пока на вашей дебетовой карте лежат деньги, которые будут приносить проценты. А в конце месяца вы просто гасите долг по кредитной карте и таким образом вы сможете получить себе прибавку к зарплате, просто грамотно пользуясь кредитной картой. Что классного в Тинькофф Платинум? Кредитный лимит повышен до 1 миллиона рублей. Можно переводить бесплатно до 100 тысяч рублей в месяц на карты любых банков. И даже на дебетовую карту, а потом с нее снимать наличные. А также до 120 дней без процентов вы можете погасить другой кредит картой. Рассрочка 0% до 12 месяцев на любые покупки. Так что повышай финансовую грамотность, переходи по ссылке в описании и оформляй карту Тинькофф Платинум с кредитным лимитом до 1 миллиона рублей. Now we are in the Kazakh steppe. But we repaired it and continue our only forward. Come on! The engine is tripping. Look at the bottle. Take it. There is strong vibration throughout the body. Horror! But what fun, 26 miles per hour. What a singing engine. Simply amazing. There are few cars, not in other places, but Kazakhstan has very good asphalt so far. We're just driving as if we're flying away. Guys, a life hack with this engine. If you are driving downhill, you can simply turn it off and roll along, enjoying the silence. Let's try it. I press the clutch. Now let's turn it off. Silence. We don't exceed 60 miles per hour, we have 25. Wow, what mountains, amazingly simple. What a juicy sunset. Sharon, that's what it says on the mountain there on the right. This, is this the Sharon Canyon? Something incomprehensible was written, here too. Here they will charge us money for entry. This is a drawback. They probably won't let us in here. Have a good evening. Hello, how much does entry cost? 845 tenge per person. Is it normal that we're so late? Don't turn nature into... Oh, stand! Wow, I thought it was possible to come here for free. Is it possible for us to somehow get around this? Hello. Three people. Three? Yes. Mm -hmm. You smell like cucumbers. Like cucumbers? Have you eaten cucumbers? Yes. Take this. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Let's go. This is all? Is the road over? This is a basic tower. Look how many solar panels it takes to power a base station. Do you see? Rotary wind generator. But for some reason it doesn't work. Be careful when driving on dirt roads. We have soft wheels. Holy moly, guys. I'm shocked. Such a scale, much steeper than the Grand Canyon in America. Do you know how to get down? Right there. So there is still a road down there. Did you guys see? What's happened? The steering wheel is wobbly. Again? Too bad? Yes, look. You see. In which place? Move here. At the bottom? That's so sad. It's sad that we have a breakdown again. Anton's steering wheel was bent. We're going to put some sandpaper in there, right into the steering column, to keep it from rotating. How do you like this technique? Using a circular motion, guys, carefully insert this. We can't. We're stuck here with this steering wheel. It's a shame that we only traveled a short distance. In the dark we approached some cafe. It is located in the canyon area. And we still can't fix it. We changed this bushing. But it still turns. Can you imagine? Look what's happening. Now we will try everything we can. It's already late. We obviously won't be able to go anywhere like this today. We'll put up a tent there. 
Won't wolves eat us here? They say there are a lot of them here. But there seems to be civilization here, so they will approach people. I honestly want to say that my mood has dropped a lot. We haven't even covered the first hundred miles yet. We still have a thousand miles to go. I hope we get to the training ground. This is a heart. Yes, that means I love subscribers. Thank you guys for watching and enjoying our despair. In this area. But there are cool yurts here. But this is not for rent. We wanted to spend the night there. But they told us no. Drive 70 miles from here to town. I want to unscrew the screw. We will be allowed to charge here. At least there is some kind of civilization here. By the way, you guys, further on at the nuclear test site, there will be neither asphalt nor civilization. We will need to travel 300 miles on an autonomous journey. I don't know how we'll do this. If there is anything else here, then there will be nothing there. We file so that there is maximum contact. To prevent the steering wheel from turning, we came up with one method. Apply thread locker and sprinkle well with sand. How do you like this Zarkant? Zarkant is the closest settlement here, as I understand it. Am I saying it right? Yes, and there, we will find a normal steering wheel for Anton. Maybe. Maybe. We couldn't even find it in Almaty. Ooh, good sand. The crucial moment, guys, sprinkles. It sticks to everything. Do you know what it's called? Nonsense. This is the seasoning for the steering wheel. Anton is cook now, and he prepares the steering wheel. Look how it sticks. What? Take two. Yes, it looks very sad. But why is it so difficult? Keep doing. I'll push. It seems to be working. Yes, slowly but surely. Tighten up. The grains of sand crunch. They crunch. Now let's tighten it up. Just look. What's wrong? Oh no. We forgot the puck. It's okay. We'll go without it. You forgot this puck. Damn, but it's happening. Sounds like Chinese city. But I'm afraid to break this connection. You hold. Yes. Amazing. Great hook. Did we really do this? I cannot believe. Are we ready to go? Everyone should do this. But is there scrolling or not at all? No, my steering wheel moves too. We have overcome this. So guys, this is how we set up. And this is our tent. We bought it especially for this trip. We tied our bikes to a pole so that no one would steal them at night. Do you see? Chains. Yes, the chain is quite thick. And here is the lock. Do you think this will help us? Do you want to sleep already? Certainly. We need to get up early tomorrow. We'll start right away at 5 in the morning. Yes, it was only the first day. We took a lot of spare parts with us. I think that now no breakdown will stop us. Look, we took two spare tires. It's true. Two bushings. This is quite a serious trip. I'm not kidding. And if wolves attack us, we have protection. Show it. NATO? Anton, what is this? Exactly. Is this a super paralyzer? Yes. What does it mean? The maximum number is 999 and many zeros. What it is? This is a can of mosquito repellents. You are sure? Of course, yes. There are so many gnats in the tent. We'll fix that now. Yes, but we will need to go out. In short, guys, we are serious about this trip. Everything will be as it should. Just stay tuned. Watch and enjoy our journey. That's it guys, good night. See you tomorrow, you will soon see what will happen in the morning. It's 5 o'clock in the morning. We are very cold in this tent. Anton was very cold. Dima, what's wrong? We are frozen. Look how I dressed. Just look at it. One pair of pants. Two. They don't even fit. Three. Horror.
When will the sun come out? It already is. I do not see. Kazakhstan is very cold. We should have taken sleeping bags. Who has any problems with cars? I have a problem with the brakes. But I think it's tolerable. My engine keeps stalling. I'm going. Twitching? In jerks, yes. Maybe you should enrich this a little. When I'm just driving, it's normal. But I can't go fast because the rear wobbles. But you still can ride. The bikes are still here. Nobody stole them. It is so cold here. It's 5 in the morning. It's very, very cold here. Look how cold the sky is. The morning begins with a key. But not with a coffee. So, Anton, does this handbrake hold your steering wheel? The steering wheel really works great. At night we had to dismantle it all and film it from here. Do what you like. The first stage is to bend one wall inward. The second stage is to grab the hopper and twist it. Yes, exactly. This is all? Yes. Let's put on a cover. Are we really ready to go? I am very happy. I thought it would take us an hour to get ready. I love these arc tents. They are so comfortable. This is a real breakthrough in tent construction. Spares. Two spare wheels. By the way, we didn't take a single spare tire. We'll take it away from someone. So. Forward. I can't go. This is normal, you just haven't warmed up the engine. And this happens every morning. He could. Turn on the enricher. Anton cannot start the engine. Now Dima will do it. You were able to do it very quickly. Not yet. The guys are trying to start the engines. I saw Dima's smoke. Why can't you do it? What is the problem? Are you sure the enricher is on? I'm tired. When you start the engine, strength will appear. Step on the gas. Open the faucet. So, it was my turn to get started. You should try using a fortifier. Open the tap. Now I'll try to start the equipment. So, come on bro, don't let me down. For some reason there is no tact. Now I'll try to close the damper. I did it! Damn! I can't. It doesn't start well, it's probably cold not only for us, but also for our equipment. I did it! Yes, it's scary to drive here. Is there really no better way? I have to take risks and drive over cliffs. Why did you come up with this route? This is really dangerous. I thought that Kazakhstan was steps, and here there are mountains and canyons all around. Now we need to accelerate before the climb. Problematic. But I did it. Literally on the edge. Guys, now we will take a photo for you from a quadcopter. First we are looking for a stone, because we have a short running board. I mean footrest. Now we will show you this Grand Canyon, or what is it called? Chariksky. Charing Canyon, from the height of a drone. Wow. Let's fly.
Guys, we have a new phobia. Now we are afraid not of radiation, but of backlash in figure 8. Backlash in figure 8 are now our main enemy. I don't know whose enemy this is, I really don't care. And I don't even check whether I have something there or not. So as not to get upset. Go and enjoy. However, Dima. He is looking for problems for himself. I have problems with this. <gasps> is this oil? What are these stripes? Is it gasoline leaking? You probably didn't turn off the faucet at night. Looks like it. Look how it flowed. You've seen? Has the backlash gone? Don't know. There's an extra wire here. I still haven't pulled it off yet. You tightened it too tight. Look how difficult it is for you to turn the pedals. It's because of this eight. You'll kill the bearings. You can't tighten them 100% like that. Let me try to ride this. No, don't do this. The parts may break. In short guys, we decided to shorten the road. We chose the dirt road. In theory, it should be much shorter. This road is on Google Navigator, and it will really help us save more than one kilometer. I think this is the longest section we managed to drive without breaking down. Don't talk about it. Now we have switched off the engines due to the slight descent. And sometimes, guys, we pedal. This is necessary so that the engine cools down a little, and at the same time to warm up. The engine is new, you need to stretch it out. Yes, the engines are still being run in. So far we have chosen a primer. The road is generally good, but with our bikes we are worried that nothing will happen to the wheels due to too much vibration on the stones. And it even breathes on bumps. Do you feel it? I feel it. This is weak. We pedal calmly and are happy, but guys, if we are tired, we can start the engine and fly. This is what a bicycle with a D6 two-stroke engine is. That's all, I'm tired. This is great, start the engine and drive. There's some kind of hut here. What could be interesting there? I think it's for tourists. Very wobbly. Is the rear wheel wobbly? Never mind. Is two centimeters of play normal? It's not normal, but it can still go. I thought it was a well of water. Like hidden from the sun? With a bench. It's true that it was made for tourists. Wow, did you see a snake? Yes. Is it alive? It acts like it's dead. Let me. Why are you touching this with a stick? I think it's dead. Because it didn't react at all. Yes, no reaction. Do not touch this. Well, maybe it's in suspended animation? It warms up after the night, but I wouldn't want to step on it. Do you want to play with this? Guys, what kind of snake is this? It's right on the road. Is it dead? Someone ride on this? It's alive. It moves its tongue. This is chill it. I understand it. It basks in the sun. These are such scary places. But I don't know if it's poisonous. Dima, is this a streak? Looks like that. Polos is a non-venomous snake. But I don't want to test this on myself, especially in flip-flops. Just look at the shape of the head. If it were a viper, the head would be triangular. With a huge jaw, I get it. Checkers are also drawn here, but the viper has something else. A zigzag. Zeta Viper. Holy moly. Dima's 8 is strong. Dima has this figure 8. Maybe we can tighten up the knitting needles? Do you have a tool? Adjustable wrench. Let's try. Nothing else. At least a little. Dima, I suggest you tighten your knitting needles. It is 8 strong. Even clinging. You aren't listening to me at all. I did not see. How long has this been the case? From Almaty. Then it's better to get to Zarkant. It's better not to experiment with knitting needles. There will be a problem. Everything will be fine. I've been telling you about the 8 since Almaty itself. Then why are you rolling over bumps so much? I drove carefully. I asked you not to tighten my will too much, because there are problems with the 8. Of course, this is not because of this. That's all, I don't care. Right, just enjoy it. You see, it's rubbing here. Because of the figure 8, the wheel gets stuck. I'm afraid that the rubber will wear out and, look, on the opposite side the spokes are really bad. 
Wow. They are so weak. Your spokes are torn. Torn. That's right, look. It came out there. This may be due to the fact that it was over-tightened. And what to do? Disassemble the star, but this is such a hemorrhoid. Look, they're all torn. Of course it will break the bike. Is it torn? It's torn. But how did so many spokes get torn off? How is this possible? Everyone has the same tension. Damn, this is bad. You just need to carefully drive to the city, move the spokes here and tighten them. Why not change the wheel? We don't have a wheel with an iron rim. With aluminum it will immediately burst on the first dirt bump. How many miles are left to Zarkand? Quite a bit of. I suggest tightening the adjacent knitting needles in order to at least slightly align those that are intact. And drive carefully if it gets stuck, tilt the wheel a little from here. For spokes burst. This way, right? Of course, we could change the wheel. Yes. We have a new problem, we will have to. Maybe we'll buy a new iron wheel. In any case, you will have to remove the star and board it all again. I loosened these knitting needles that are opposite, guys. And the eight went a little further. Now our goal is to get to the nearest populated area and do something there, because driving further with such a wheel is quite dangerous. Let's go! We won't be able to travel anymore. You think so? The wheel just rubs a lot, right? Well, it got even worse than it was. Does it spin? Roll back a little. It doesn't even spin well. More spokes snapped. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight spokes have burst and all on one side. This is bad. We certainly won't go anywhere like this. The only option is to change the wheel. So let's get to work. Where else should we go? You know, it happens to people that they don't want to do anything. Then assemble the engine and go on your journey. Let it be 100 kilometers, 200 kilometers, somewhere around the house, in the area. But this thing will give you emotions. Always in a great mood. Then everyone was depressed because this thing was broken again. Look how shabby it is, it's terrible. That's okay. Look how messed up it is. This will still need to be sorted out. Yeah. In short, we decided to rearrange the spokes in this wheel. It looks more reliable. Nine spokes burst. And now we will remove them from this rim and move them here. Let's try to align the figure eight. We also don't have a key that needs to be used to unscrew the spokes. We will use a screwdriver to turn it from this side. We deflate the wheel. Now let's disassemble the tire. By the way, we never hit a single one. Let's remove this feeder. It's red. Feeder, are you right? Guys, tell us what this is called correctly. It's probably Peter. Just look. So many knitting needles to pull out. Just like that. Not feeder, but Peter. No need to unscrew them. Just take it out. And put it in its place. Only one at a time. And immediately put a new one in its place. We will get confused. This is true. Just use a screwdriver to unscrew it from here. We don't want to install aluminum spokes, because it's too weak for us. On the other hand, I can't figure out which one to put in. This is bad. But let's try an analogy. Here they go crisscross. Damn, this is terrible. It will take us a long time to figure out which hole to insert what into. I've been sitting here for probably 15 minutes now, figuring out how to insert them. It turns out you need to somehow insert one after four. And I'm already putting in the last one. This is for video. Four frame. And now put it here from below and here from above. The most difficult part remains. We need to tighten it. We put the motor grandmother here. 
We put together such an improvised stand. This doesn't catch me anymore. I'm just stringing it however I want now. And look, the eight leaves. You know, it looks pretty futuristic. Because we're just in the middle of nowhere. There really isn't a single living soul here. Hey guys. Are you too lazy to pedal? I thought they had electric ones. They are so fast. So cool. We can't get through on motorbikes, but they ride like crazy on regular ones, not electric ones. There's a huge set of motor sprockets on the back of the wheels. Guys, we had to suffer a little, about half an hour. These are my marks. Everything was set up. I pulled all the knitting needles, even a little more than they were here. I pulled each one up. Those spokes that we changed protrude strongly, they are sticking out. Now we will stick some rag tape there, and everything will be fine. I don't know whether we are doing the right thing or not. Write in the comments. There will be two layers here. Dima is very worried that the spokes may cut through the camera. Are you worried, Dima? No. No. Look what's happening there. Holy moly. Bicycle attack. Wow. Lawn mowers. Hello. She said she was riding a lawnmower. You know, she called us lawnmowers. Like our motors from lawnmowers. Now we'll show them lawnmowers. Now we will catch up with them. No one has ever called us that before, lawnmowers. What's wrong? Wow. Hard to tear off. Now the feeder. Yes, feeder. Okay. Now we look for the hole and insert the nipple of the wheel chamber there. It fit perfectly. So, now the next task is to insert the tire. Do you guys need any help? No thanks. Everything is fine? Yes. We can handle it ourselves. What kind people are? Done. Great. Yes, 2.7. Let's pump up the wheel and that's it. This is the most difficult operation. Moreover, it needs to be centered correctly. There is a suspicion that the spokes burst because it was not centered correctly. But why? Because we've been too lazy to do it. Guys do this too. What? Oh, I saw them yesterday. Hello. Okay, we're off. Good luck to you. Yes, thank you. Goodbye. Enjoy your walk. And you too. Thank you. But why isn't this getting better? Did you screw it in wrong? Everything is correct. I thought we could do it faster, but it's already been three hours since we've been fiddling with this wheel. Sasha, do you think everything is correct? Yes, just gorgeous. Look guys. Now we install the wheel. But to install it you need to pull two chains at once. And at the same time, adjust the play and run out. Oh, this is not an easy task. Now try it. We need to install a tank. If everything is fine, you will be able to drive without a tank. There should be a little carburetor there. Or did you spoil it? We did. Try it. Start up. I think everything is fine. The wheel is absolutely straight. You did great. In the cold it starts very hard. Forward. Great, it works. You need to step on the gas many times. Even more. Oh no. I almost drove into you. Guys, at the bottom. That's why we can't start the engines. Everyone ran out of gas at the same time. I can start. I just need some acceleration. Your chain has fallen off. We recorded the mileage and refueled. Let's go. So guys, let's hit the asphalt. This is a good road. Simply wonderful, after the one we just rode. Let's go. The engine seems to sing. It sings beautifully. So let's speed up. In short, Sasha and I were just racing. Then we looked back and realized that Dima was gone. He is somewhere very far away. 
And again something happened. Damn, I hope he didn't have a flat tire. What's happened? Do you have a spare bolt or not to secure this? Wow, is this what you stopped for? It could interfere with me here. As soon as we go out and catch the adrenaline, the drive of freedom and speed, something breaks. Dima, should I give you a bolt? This is the Sharon River. I thought there were no rivers here in the desert. Look what a river! Such a current! Cool! You noticed? Trees appeared here. And the water is very green. I wonder why. Holy moly! If we were still there, at the Sharon Canyon, we jumped into the river then. So this is the river from that canyon? Yes, we could sail here. It seemed quite small there. Let me go say hello to the water. There is a very strong current here. Yes, it even removes stones. People probably pee and poop in it. Maybe. Let's wash in this. Yes, it even smells like sewer water. Not true. Can you smell that smell? No smell. It is there. You just don't smell it. You probably don't like Kazakhstan. Am I right? Why? You say that people are evil and the water is dirty. Where's the soap? On a stone. Is your sound good? Without extraneous sounds? Yeah, there is some. I heard a ringing. From my bike? From Anton. And sometimes something rings from behind too. I don't know what, but it's coming. But good. Any knock will come out, Anton. If it was serious. That's where that sound came from. Now I know. Did it spin out? Yes, here. Then let's move on. In about 20 miles, there will be the nearest populated area. I stopped to cool the engine. Guys, you need to check the condition of the spark plug. It got hot instantly. What color? Chocolate? Yes. How much would you rate it? Guys, look. I don't know how to understand this. It seems to be low on fuel because it is a little white in color. Do you think it should be lighter or darker? Of course it's lighter. It should be brown. Brown, but it's gray. Strange. I have some kind of skipping when I press on the gas. It starts to rattle and the traction disappears. So there is a troit? Yes. If the engine stalls, it means your mixture is too rich. But it's already quite rich. It couldn't happen anymore. I also sometimes have triplets, but if you fully throttle, it will work smoothly and very quickly. Let's see what I have with the spark plug. We traveled a lot. Notice guys, my spark plug is screwed in backwards. I specifically conducted such an experiment and turned it around. I don't know if this can be done, but it's more convenient for me to twist it this way. That's why you have the best ride. You think so? Well. It's the same here. Yes, gray. Maybe the gasoline is bad? Maybe this is how the spark plug is detected in two-stroke engines. Let's look at Dima's bike. Is it white? What's there? The same. Look, there is also a gray electrode here. This indicates a high combustion temperature. Poor mixture. Yes, a little. Let's check it out. Carburetor. What's there? I think this can be opened up a little bit. Excellent macro. Not much here either. Look how beautiful my nails are. Put it here. Yes, exactly here. Let's assemble and insert. Great. Let's go. How are you, Anton? There's an eagle. Is the bike running better already? Yes, it completely stopped bothering me. Is it true? I need to try this too. Let's go a little further. Come on. Little bit later. Why are they honking at us? 
In short guys, you need to be careful with the carburetor. Let's compete. Full throttle. I'm at my maximum now. I'm still faster than you. It's easier for me. You have problems, but I don't have problems. It drives great. He adjusted the carburetor strangely. Why did he do it if it doesn't work? Wow! Are we really entering a populated area, guys? It's so cool! Thank God we decided to stop. My hand was already very numb. Everything is fine? We got along pretty well. Maybe we should stop at a gas station. We have a lot of gasoline. Then you're right. There seem to be hot springs here. Let's go there. Let's go. You can have a snack there. Imagine how long we drove without civilization. I thought populated areas would be more common here. It seems like we're going very slowly now. Yes, too much. After what happened? There is something written here in Kazakh. Another gas station, somehow mega ancient. In short guys, we arrived in some village, I entered the nearest cafe into the navigator to have a snack. We are driving according to the navigator. For some reason, all the locals honk at us, and say hello, and smile. And we really are like stars here, everyone pays attention. People come out, look, observe, what it is. It's a nice village, really. It's quiet and calm here, cool. And these houses are so authentic. Look how new the asphalt is, well rolled. Where are you guys from? Uh, we are from Olmedy. To Semipolotinsk. We rested a little, had a good snack, slept for a couple of hours right on the bench next to this table. We ordered tea and some Kazakh food. Here, the thing in the pot, I don't know what it's called, smoke. Now we are tightening all the nuts, on the head, on everything else, and we continue on our way. Anton, did the engine spin up a lot? No. Is it normal? Looks like I'm the only one who has this problem. The main thing is to tighten all the screws well, because this engine vibrates fiercely, and the screws spin up. Goodbye. Thanks for the hospitality. Goodbye. Thanks a lot. So, let's start the engines. Yes. Turn on the enricher a little. It's okay if you can't start it, you have legs. <laughs> I'm not used to the fact that there is right-hand traffic here. Still, the mood is immediately much better when the engine is running. Anton, you have a lot of smoke. There's a village here, pockmarked. It's called Chunza. There's even a multi-story building here, look. Now we're on the very outskirts of Kazanstan. If you drive straight, there is the border with China. And we are moving towards China. This is Kazakhstan. People are gradually moving to villages. I don't want to leave. Guys, do you think it's a good idea to move to Kazakhstan? Write in the comments. So guys, time for a life hack for those who have a moped. If you have a weak moped, then there is one way out, the simplest and most effective. Pull the flute out of the muffler. Now we will show you how to do it correctly. For those who don't know, the flute is the lower part of the muffler. Look how it wet itself. But this is a bad sign. It says, I want to breathe, please. The engine does not have enough oxygen, and some of the burnt fuel flies directly into the muffler. We'll deal with this now. There is no need to turn the carburetor or adjust anything for a long time. Just take off the flute. Wait, but why did I do this? So, done. Holy moly. Look how dirty it is. It's pouring too much, right? Yes, it's oily. It's just oily. Also very strong. Take this off. It's stuffy. Stuffy. Give that engine some oxygen. Give me freedom. Like the owner. Like the moped. Stuffy. Who's stuffy? We stopped where there are a lot of mosquitoes. Now these mosquitoes will fly away from here when they hear this moped singing. Great. Now this engine will breathe oxygen. I'm afraid something might get in there. Listen to this sound, guys. 
Is it really going to choke? I don't understand why it won't start. Too bad? Too weak? Damn! Then close the valve. We did something wrong, it looks like there is too much air. Wow! Holy moly! Very loud without a flute. On the count of three, turn on the gas. Forward. Once. Two. Wow! Oh no! This is unfair. I can't catch up with you. It's not even an illegal method. Guys, the road is bad. The speed is 30 miles per hour. The engines are very loud. It's horrible. Holy. Molly. Forty-two. But where are we going? Zark and right. Great gear, guys. Cool without a flute. Guys, to be honest, I really can't believe it. This is simply unrealistically cool. This is such an unusual feeling. Imagine, I'm now riding around Kazakhstan on this homemade engine. On a bike with a motor. Somewhere very far from home. Towards the dream. You just fly away from this one feeling. Play some cool music on your headphones and just enjoy. This is so cool, guys. You just drive and dream. This is complete freedom. This is a must try. This cannot be explained in words. The people here are so friendly. Everyone greets you and smiles at you. I don't know if it's visible through GoPro, but the sunset is simply magnificent in these Kazakh steppes. It's just wow. So guys, safety comes first. That's why we wear bright safety vests, because we decided to drive at night. We want to do a lot of miles today, since it's not that hot at night. Although our engines don't overheat, right? It runs fine. Yes, but we will still drive at night to cover more ground. We turned on the lights and blinkers, so that we can be seen clearly. Anton's vest. I have attached it here. Everything is on zip ties, but it works. A very bright flashlight. It's very bright for me too. Everything is as it should be. Maybe I should attach this above. No, it's still clearly visible. I got burned by the engine. Did you burn yourself on the engine again? Holy moly. In short, guys, you can't ride these mopeds in shorts. Just look at my legs. It's horrible. Keep in mind that if you ride this monster, you are guaranteed to get bruised knees and scorched feet. This is so strange. It's no longer a desert here, but some kind of gardens, it seems to me. Look guys, what is this? Mosquitoes are so angry, so we decided to spray even our faces. No, or is it possible? Just close your eyes and everything will be fine. Is it true? Yes. Have you ever gone to nature? Run away immediately. <laughs> it's gradually starting to get dark outside. But we don't think of stopping. Today we decided to go at night. We attached a lot of lights. In the front and in the back. We wore reflective vests. And let's go. I hope we'll cover a lot of miles this night. Anton, is everything okay? Anton, what happened? There is no gasoline. Running out of gas? Then let's fill it up for everyone? Here we discovered an old USSR mega project. Look, an aqueduct. This is a concrete moat with water. And the water comes here. Look at the motor. Is there water here? Yes, look. Good sound. This was done in order to turn the desert into a blooming garden. 
Cool, this is the first time I've seen this, so it works for that long. These USSR mega projects were dangerous. When these irrigation systems were built, the Aral Sea then dried up. But when they made the nuclear lake, we are going to. Terrible radiation pollution and fish mutation appeared there. We will see this further. Is it full? Yes. Does something left there? Yes. There's not much left here. For one time. Damn, this is a cool thing. Just in the middle of the road. Well, a watering hole. For people. A wash basin or wash stand. So cool. But a midge got into my eye. It might be possible to remove this. This is very convenient in the desert. These are the aqueducts. I would send a boat there so that it would float. Look how fast it flows. A crocodile could crawl out of here. I hope I don't have a brain amoeba after this. <laughs> Nuclear test site. We are coming to you. It's so cool. Drive towards your dream, thousands of miles from home, to a real nuclear test site. You completely forget about all your problems. The brain reboots. Guys, it's almost completely dark. And we fly on these engines. That's cool. It's a thrill at night through the darkness. Damn, this is the best moment of life. So good. I don't know. This cannot be put into words. You just have to feel it. At night we met some motorcyclists here. Locals it seems. To be continued.